Hello creative souls, welcome to this sanctuary where you can transform your dance and soul and speak your authentic voice and do what the fuck you want and manifest all your dreams. That's why we are here. Okay, disclaimer starting only now. I was not planning to make a video today, so that's why there is no makeup, there is nothing. And then I thought, just fuck it. I have the inspiration, there is really a video I want to do now and I don't care if I don't have makeup because I'm just myself, sometimes I like to wear a lot of makeup, sometimes no, it depends, so I do what I want and I love to do what I want and you also you should enjoy to do what you want. So that's what it is and if you have been wondering since several videos, yes, I'm sitting on the floor, <laughs> on the floor on my dance studio because I don't know, I like it, I feel like I'm more grounded and maybe it remind me when I was living in India, so that's it. Why your actions are not enough? Let's say, I have been in that position so I know what I'm speaking about. You know that, let's say you are already in the stage where, okay, you know your dance identity, you know what you really want to do, you, you are very clear with yourself about that. But still there is no result, still you are not getting the career you want, still you are not getting the contract you want, still you feel very frustrated, it's not going like you want, you don't, you don't have that damn journey you are enjoying, you are not enjoying at all. Because action is not enough. You know what's missing? And it took me years to understand what was missing. That's why even when I was crafted my own dance and identity, when I was really truly myself, when I knew my values, I know what I wanted to dance and I was sticking to that and I was keep evolving and I was not afraid to innovate, still I didn't got the success I wanted. Still I had, you know, that frustration of why it's not working like I want? Why I'm still fighting to get valued? Why I'm still fighting to get contracts? Why even my students feel like they don't give a shit about what I'm doing? And then I understand it. Later and later, some years, years of struggle, but the day I understood what was missing, game changer. The mindset is missing. And again, you hear that in all my podcasts, in all my stories, in all my videos, when I'm in mindset, I don't mean the toxic positivity of, oh, it's wonderful, let's be grateful for everything that's happening in our life, everything is wonderful, oh, um, no. I mean, like, not like, oh, I have to feel happy, today I'm sad, but no, no, I have to feel happy. No, when I'm in mindset, and it's, I based all my coaching on that mindset things. I mean law of assumption. Again, law of assumption means what you assume to be true is going to be true in your reality. So if you assume that still even by being yourself, you are not going to get the success you want, then you are not going to get the success you want because you assume it's not going to work out because it's not your fault. We know no one told us that what we imagine all day, what we think all day, and even our inner self conversation is manifesting in reality. We just thought till now, even me, I just thought for so much years that life is life. I cannot do anything about it. I'm just a victim of the life. Some people are lucky, they get what they want, and some people are not lucky. It's like that, it's fate, it's karma, call it whatever you want. And we cannot influence on it. We just have to accept, be resilient, and do the best we can with what the reality, the reality is showing. This is not what's happening. What is happening is that we have experienced some things, but we never experience them thinking, okay, if I want it, tomorrow is changing. I don't like that experience. I'm changing it. It didn't exist. I'm doing some revision or just I don't acknowledge that 3D is real. And I just feel like, okay, I change that 3D for tomorrow. We was never told that. So we kept having the same experience over and over and we make the lesson of it. Like, okay, if I do that, this is what is going to happen. So I cannot do that. No, it's not true. The true reality is that if you want to change anything in your life, you have to first change your thoughts. For example, if I knew before that when I was showcasing my true identity, when I was showcasing my true style, if I just have the mindset of thinking, 
yeah, I'm proud of what I'm doing. I had that. But what was missing is the part of everyone is going to love it. Everyone is loving it. Of course, they're going to love it because I love it, you know? And if I was walking with confidence, I would have get everyone loving it. But I just was doing like, oh, I really believe in what I do. But I knew as I am weird, any as I am not understood. So I was keep manifesting the same things. So action is mandatory. But the action with that mindset will lead you nowhere. It will keep leading you to the same repetitive cycle and cycle. So what you need is that you need to get in your mind that the law of assumption is real. It's not, yeah, it's magic. <laughs> Somehow it's magic. But it's not the magic that is coming out of nowhere. It's a science-based. It's the quantum field. We was too much conditioned to think we are living only in the Newtonian world and we are also living in a quantum field. The universe works through quantum. Even our atoms, inside our bodies, there is quantum physics. So we are living also in that quantum physics. What we think all day is going to shape your reality through the quantum field. I'll make a very easy example. Let's say, okay, you make an audition for a dance contract and you got the result and you are not taken. If you go through the quantum field and the law of assumption, you just assume that, no, I have been taken for that contract. I got the contract. You deny the treaty. You ignore it. And you keep persisting in what you believe. I want that contract. I got it. I got it. I don't care. And you will see that the next day, someone is going to call you back and say, oh, sorry, we made a mistake. Of course, you are taken for the contract. This is true story. This is real. I'm doing that every day for everything in my life. This is not something you apply only for your dance. It's going to be the game changer in your dance. But you can also apply it for anything, everything in your life. So what you need to be the successful dream dancer you dream to be is of course to first start with the mindset as I am successful. I am successful. I am my dream dancer. The dream dancer you have defined Think you are that person. Think as if you are already that person. I'm not asking you to act and behave weird. <laughs> like if you have millions of followers and uh, you are dancing in all the prestigious shows, or you are even dancing in TV. I'm not asking you to pretend. But every day you think as if. When you wake up in the morning, you are like, oh, I'm so happy today I'm dancing in TV. Oh, I'm so happy I got that contract. And then you take inspired action. And this is was not planned. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I know pets love so much to interrupt in the camera. I don't know why they like it so much, but it's like that. So sorry for that. So once you have your mindset, then you take inspired action and you will see that the action you will take will be quite different because your mindset will be different. So maybe things that you, were, you had a limiting belief before, things you didn't dare to do. Now you start to do it because you believe in yourself, because you believe you are successful. Another example, you want to be a famous dancer on Instagram. Then show up every day as if you already have millions of followers. I don't care if today you have only 30 followers. I don't care. Just how, what will do, how will think the person who have millions of followers? Oh, I have to make a dance clip today. Oh, I have to show the backstage today. Oh, today I want to present my new costume. Go publish, go publish as if you have the millions of followers. And then by keep assuming and keep repeating and affirming inside your head that I have those millions of followers. I am so famous on Instagram. I am the best dancer. Everyone loves to see me dancing. Then it will happen. The 3D reality will catch up to you. So to be the dream dancer, it's action and mindset. Both combined. I cannot dissociate both because I have been in the phase where I dissociated both. I didn't have the mindset. I got it only at the late. Before I had only actions. And even before, at the first stage, I didn't even have actions. I had nothing. I was just caught up in the system. I believed what everyone was telling me. And I was just following that. Okay. Then I realized, okay, I need to really do what I want. And I took that actions. But still, I was not encountering the success I wanted. Because the mindset was missing. And the day I found that I also needed mindset, then everything went like I wanted. 
I was not afraid of anything anymore and I make a lot of change in my career. And even recently what I did, I even stopped to perform for the last two years and I stopped teaching as well. And I just wanted to do something else and I just wanted to travel. So I was more prioritizing my personal life. I was traveling, I was getting new ideas, I was going in a new place. I just stopped to perform and you know what still people are calling me to perform from everywhere in the world and if I wanted I got contract for India I got contract for UK for Canada for even France everywhere but that's not what I want now so that's why I keep rejecting it but I'm doing it because I'm doing what I want so the game changer is action plus mindset and that mindset has again law of assumption think all the day, affirm all the day. When I said affirm, it's like, sometimes I just stop, I just take 10 minutes solid, and I just repeat on loop. For example, I'm successful, I'm successful, I am the best dancer, I am the best dancer, I have the best dancer, I am the best dancer, yes, of course I am the best dancer. And I just affirm it for 10 minutes solid. To saturate my mind with that new belief, because what you believe is what happened in the reality. So now, if I'm telling you it's as simple as that, it's as magic as that. How much badly you want something, then you are firm for it, then you persist. You ignore the 3D that is not aligned. The 3D will take time to catch up because right now the 3D is playing as your, what I call the old story. The story you have till now. So it will take time to your brain to incorporate that, okay, now we have a new story. And once your brain incorporates it, of course it's going to play in your 3D reality. And at that moment only, you're going to believe all what I'm saying right now. Because at the beginning, you just have to do it without believing. Because you will only believe once you experience. We are not at all conditioned for that. We were never, never told for that. I have to wait, I'm what, 33 years old to come to know that law of assumption exists. Damn God, so much time I lost. Now I'm thinking, if I was talking to my old self, I would tell first, first to fix your mindset. Remove all the old assumption of failure, of what you are not understood. Build a beautiful assumption towards your dream, that your dream is possible. You just have to think about it. And then I would have taken all my actions, of course, get skilled in dance, go to all the workshops I always want, to do the creation I want, and then everything would have happened just so easily. I don't want to feel like I lost so much years because I finally came to know how to do that. Because I never really give up. I wanted, but I did not. So finally, what I wanted, I found it. Because if you truly want something, means it's meant to be. So just trust yourself and follow that path. And now I just assume that everything goes like I want. And it's like a lifestyle now. It's like, okay, I want my parcel today. Yeah, yes, I ordered yesterday. I don't give a shit. I'm affirming that my parcel is coming today. And guess what? My parcel is coming today. I never struggle to get a parking place, even if it's shit crowded. Because before even starting, I'm like, it's so easy for me to find parking place. Or you can just repeat to yourself all day. I am so lucky. I am so lucky. Get out from the victim mentality. Instead of saying, oh, I'm always struggling, it's always hard for me. Why it never worked out for me? Why I'm not like that dancer? Just stop all of that. Cut all those thoughts and only affirm. Say to yourself or have with yourself in a conversation, saying that everything is perfect. Everything is wonderful. I am getting everything I want. I am so lucky. I am a boss. I am the dream dancer. I love my dance career. I love all my dance projects. You don't have to believe it. You don't have to feel happy all the time. You can be sad and affirm because your emotion doesn't manifest. Only your thoughts and what you say to yourself manifest. So now you want to change your life. You want to change your dance career. Keep your action. Keep all your actions right now that are aligned with your value. And now you start to incorporate the mindset, the law of assumption. And comment below all the results you get and what it is changing. Okay, see you next week. I could talk about this topic for hours and hours. So already start to practice that and we are going to meet next week.